Welcome family and friends and subscribers. Welcome to Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. You're here with your one and only Smoke Pot as usual. Um, I hope everybody is doing well and your families are all doing great. And um, I pray that um, we continue to do what we need to do to survive during this um, perilous time. Um, today I'll be doing um, some steamed fish for you, all right? And the fish of choice today is gonna be some steamed snapper and i'm also going to be doing steamed part part is usually better fried and brown soup for most people but recently i tried it and it was very good so i'm going to do some steam part and steam snapper so first i'm just going to show you what this, the parrot will actually look like this is why it's called a parrot if you look at the head you see it it shapes just like a parrot <laughs> so this is a what's called a blue parrot and then we are going to be in doing this one. And I'm also going to be doing um, red snapper for those who don't know what snapper look like. That's a red snapper. All right, the fish has already been cleaned, but usually they leave on um, um, the, the tail and the fin and the gill. So I'm just going to remove those quickly. All right, you use your, use your scissors and you get rid of those. All right, and you get rid of the fin right here. All right, you tidy him up real nicely. All right. All right, so we're gonna do that quickly with them. The fishes I have, same thing with the blue parrot. Get rid of that. All right, you want him to be real nice and make sure you get rid of that. Can still where that is. You want to make sure you get rid of these because these bones sometimes if you're unaware and they'll, they'll get you. I poured some vinegar in my sauce, in my um, water and I'm going to be adding some some lime also and that cuts. It's a cleaning agent but it also cut the, the smell of the fish because you know the fish is somewhat strong. So after I'm finishing with this then I'm going to put a nice little mark on it. You finish off two left inside. Same thing apart. They are all good. Alrighty. Then now you can, we're going to rinse them off. And these parts are very big. I'm going to cut them in two. From here, pour that out. Let's get everything out. So we're gonna rinse it. Make sure you check it inside. You head everything. Make sure it's properly sealed. We're going to drain it and put them in the next container. Then we're going to go straight into our, into our seasoning. So doing steamed fish, there are many, many, many different variations, right? Many, many different ways. And recently I've been seeing people doing some crazy things <laughs> um, in terms of their steamed fish. But for me, I'm, I'm going to try to make it very, very simple because I do not want to over season. And then what we find when we do that is the natural flavor from the fish. We can actually lose that by adding too much stuff to our um, fish preparation. You know, I see people be putting in chocho, pumpkin, all of that. And um, some work, some don't. But I'm not going into all of that craziness right now. All I need is some black pepper. So I'm going to put, in, no, I usually put them together. I don't just sprinkle them like that. So I'm going to put me some black pepper, a little salt, and I have a little fish season right here. I'm going to add a little fish season. All right. I'm going to stir that together like so. And then 
I'm gonna slowly in those creases that I made put a little sprinkle a little on the inside this that I made do the same thing with all of them and then after that we're gonna leave them to sit just for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and continue with the rest of the process yeah guys now that um, I finished season and I let my fish sit for a while now we're gonna continue with the process so what I just did I turned my, my pot on um, my stove on um, and I added some olive oil you can use the oil of choice but recently I tried to stick with olive oil as much as possible although olive oil is much heavier than certain other oils and it's not recommended to fry with olive oil because it's very dense but for the, for the um, steam fish the olive oil can work so what I have here in our season that I'm working with I have onions, I have scotch onion pepper, I have skelly and thyme, tomatoes, red pepper, garlic, um, carrots, green pepper and um, some okras alright so I'm just gonna add some of this not everything right now my tomatoes definitely my garlic and my thyme my scallion a little of my of my onion and a little of my bell pepper go right now I just really love those. I don't need my carrots or my um my okra yet. Alright. Let me that for a little bit, you know. For too long though. Let everything just come together a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna be making my sauce. Right? So I have some some water that's hot, some hot water right here. Pour a little hot water in the front. Not too much, because even with steam fish, you don't want it to be bland. You do not want you know, the texture and the taste to be bland. So you minimize the amount of water. Then you do some seasoning. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and I'm going to use a little all purpose, like a teaspoon of all purpose. And I'm also going to use some more fish seasoning. As you can see, the brand is, is Maggie, but whatever brand you're comfortable with, I'm going to give that also one teaspoon. All right, you, you give that a few stir, and you make sure that the flavor that you're looking for is right there. So that's very important to get the flavor that you're looking for, all right? That's very nice. That's very nice. Um, I want it to come together a little more before I add my fish. So I'm gonna give it like about three minutes and then I'm gonna add, add my fish to the sauce. Yeah, guys, so my sauce, as you can see, you know, it's coming together. So now we go straight into just adding the fish. And you remember, I lightly season them. I left two of the fish um, the way they are because it looks pretty to me. I know it's huge, but we're gonna add it just the same in the pot. All right, so this is gonna take up almost all the space, but we good, we good. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna ensure that I get some of this inside of me. Then we're gonna put the snapper. We have one old snapper also. Yeah, we're gonna add him. All right. And then I would spread some of my nice seasoning over that. Yeah, both of them. And then I'll cut these.
after that now i'm going to immediately add because fish steaming fish doesn't take too long all right so i'm gonna add my okra all right steam fish doesn't take too long so by the time the fish is steamed the okra and the carrots are gonna be um steamed just the same so add these spread them out nicely With the peppers everything that we have Right, let's make everything all right over and we're gonna leave that for about eight to ten minutes and then we see where we are all right so I'll catch you back in a few yes guys um the fish have been steaming for um, um about 12 minutes and then it's actually finished right now so this is what it looks like that's the snapper right here and this is the parrot now I'm gonna try to put the parrot i'm gonna be be serving this with bananas a piece of yam a piece of sweet potato you know that famous yellow yam that you say bull talk about that make it run very fast but well, this is it right here the yellow yam so anybody with kids who are interested in track and field listen to mr bolt and get some jamaican yellow yam and their children will be running much faster so now we're going to try to get this the parrot fish from out the pot as you saw earlier it's extra it's very huge so I'm using two spoons to actually get it. And that's what it looks like. Oops, it's so huge. I'm almost missing the place. Okay, guys. So I still have a piece of sweet potato right here. And I have my fish here. Uh, let me try to put a piece a few pieces of um, carrots on top of the fish. You know, to you know, give a little beautification part. And I didn't get any gravy, so I add a little gravy. I don't need some okra. You can't just steam fish and leave the okra off. Put a few pieces of okra. The okra is nice. They're not too cooked out. And I also, I didn't show it to you guys, but I put a piece, a few pieces of um, bami in the, um, the steam with the fish. So I'm also gonna be having two pieces of that in the plate. So I'm gonna put a piece of bami right here, inside the fish. And bami is something that we back, back home enjoy, like festival, you know, when we are uh, eating steamed fish. So basically, this is my steamed fish with okra. Also have some bami, one finger of banana, a piece of the great yellow yam, and also a piece of sweet potato. And as usual, you know, I gotta go dig in and show you guys exactly what it's like. So yes, enjoy that. Take my nice lovely taste as I usually do. And um don't be jealous right now. And I'm not greedy. As much as I want to eat all of this, I'm gonna save some for for later on tomorrow, alright? But um my parrot, bami, okra, carrot, banana, sweet potato. Alright, let me taste not the okra first. Okra is sweet. It's sweet as if a sweet potato was added, but there was no sweet potato, so I'm guessing the carrots might be extremely sweet. That's very nice. Carrot right, on point. The gravy, the gravy is shining through big time. You see, I realize I haven't tasted the fish as yet, but the sauce from the fish is so, it's just nice. Banana is soft. Now let me go to the, the yam. 
the, the fast running yam, it's just saying boat yam. This yam is what we call dry. It's very nice. Let me try the bami now. The bami sat in the gravy. Guys, this is half the charge. This get to 11 out of 10. You know that nice, as you can see, break off nicely, well cooked. It is a parrot. Mm -mm. Guys, delicious, delicious, as I'm saying. 11 out of 10, that's perfection. So guys, thanks for watching. And remember, help push small pot and balance forward. Let's take it to the next level. We'll continue to produce these videos and I hope um, it's helping someone out there who enjoyed the Caribbean um, um, way of cooking. Please follow through. And hopefully, you know, you'll get it the way I'm, I'm doing it. So small pot and balance kitchen, Subscribe, share, like, God bless you, peace out.